I'm going to show you how to create a donate button on your website. And when you click it, it opens up the PayPal pop-up. Of course, this is built using PayPal, but if you were to add the code that they give you, it won't look like that. And you're going to get like an annoying little PayPal button. Now you can style it with a bit of code snippet or some CSSing, but it takes a bit of effort. And sometimes it will get you a little bit frustrated with how it doesn't work or look exactly how you want. The reason I'm trying to show you this method is this is a normal elemental button. So if I had a bit of the branding or a style in my website and I went and changed the look of my buttons, the button for this would also change. And the PayPal donate button is still going to be clickable and workable. It's really simple and easy to do this. But step one is to go over to PayPal and get the code for your donate button. Basically, when you're in PayPal, you will go over to pay and get paid and you go to donations. And then you'll go and create a donation button. And you just go through the steps on deciding, you know, how much money, you know, are they going to have steps whereby they can pay £5, £10? Can they put in any amount they want? But you want to get to the end where you now go and get the code. And if you're a little bit confused, it's this one over here. Go and click donate button. And all you got to do is copy the code. I mean, you could, if you want, just take this bit and add it to another bit of code you may have. But what you want to do is copy this entire code to your clipboard. What you will have is a button looking like this. Now, at the point before you get to this stage, you can decide on changing the image of this so you can add on your own JPEG or whatever image. The trouble is, though, is that will just be an image. And like I said, if you were building out, say, a design for your website and you've gone and created a button with a particular look and then suddenly your client goes, oh, I do want to have a border radius of 100 or I now want to change the color or whatever to it. You're going to have to go back over to your donate button here, go back a step and go and drop in another image. And it's adding in a lot of admin. What I'm going to show you undoes the need for that. So what you do is copy the code, drop in a HTML widget and then paste in the code. You will notice over here, I already have my elemental button. It's literally just a button that says donate. There's nothing more going on with it. Like, look at it. There's, there's nothing about it, really. It's just a button. But there's the HTML widget and then you go and paste the code. Now, I want you to look at this code. Just study it for a moment. OK, it's exactly what you would have got from the PayPal page. But I'm now going to overwrite this with a modified version and I'm going to undo and redo and see if you notice the difference. And hopefully you can spot it's this line over here right at the top. What we now have done is added in a few extra information. Like I've gone and set the width. I've gone and set the height. I've gone cursor pointer, text line center, blah, 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 blah. The reason I've done that is I've tried to make sure that this button is now inside or within the size of this button. If you want to get it to exactly match, you could do. I've gone slightly inside. So the width of this is a little bit more than 120 pixel. And the height of it is about 38, 39, close to 40 pixel. The reason I've done that is if your button had a hover effect, so let's just go back to button, go to style, maybe over in hover, you've gone and said, make it grow or shrink or whatever. When you move your mouse over, the hover effect will kick in. Now, I have not got any hover effect applied, but I just wanted to let you know that if you wanted to maintain that as well, you could do. So basically, we've got this over here. Now, the button, if we go to the advanced tab, has a Z index of one. The HTML widget has an Z index of two. So when I said there was nothing, you know, going about the button, I kind of lied. There is a Z index there, but that's it. We got the button and we've got the HTML and you can pretty much hopefully guess what I'm now going to do. I'm just going to go to the top margin and I'm going to go for minus 60, I think. And that button is now over there. You're probably saying, how do you even know? Let me give you a little neat trick, OK? If I go to the advanced tab for my HTML and I go to background, I'm going to add in a transparent background color like green. And look, there you can see it now. Let's go back to the HTML button and let's take that off. Let me just copy it. So there is my button. By giving it a transparent green color, I can see where it sits. And when I pop back in the minus 60, it is now over the button. And you can see why I did the 35 height. If I'd gone for 40, it would be the full height. So I can see the button. Z index 2, it's over the button. Sorry, I can see the button. I can see the HTML code. It's over the button. You now go back to your background and we'll now make that be fully transparent. So it's no longer there. And then I hit update. Then I go back to preview and I now click it. And now that PayPal pop-up opens up. You could have a pop-up 
You can have an open canvas template. You could have all of that, but then it's actually going to summon another pop-up or whatever. I could, if I want to have a link, I could even say you click that and it takes you over to a donate page or something else. So let's say you've got a home page or a landing page or somewhere a page where you've got a button somewhere with donate. It could be in your header. It could be in your menu. It could be anywhere you want. When you click it, it's going to open that PayPal pop-up on the same page. It won't take you to another page because maybe you've got videos and a celebrity and something that's helping to promote the reason why you want them to donate. Hey, I don't mind getting some donations as well. But this is a quick and simple, easy way to do it. We still use the same code from PayPal. All I did was add in a bit extra for the width and height, and I'll paste that little bit extra in the video description so you can go and utilize that as well. And then we just got the HTML to overlap the button. So if I was to now go in and change my button, we'll give it a thousand and we're going to go and change the background color to be green. We'll go here, update. I still have my button. I click it and it's going to open the same donate PayPal pop up. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, donate loads and loads and loads to me, to the company, to us, to everyone, the world. I'll see you soon.